Here I am at one of the most famous sightseeing spots in Hangzhou City, the West Lake State Guest House. But I'm not here for leisure. This week, there are nearly 100 economists and academics gathering here discussing global financial issues, and their big focus is the Bretton Woods system with its 18th anniversary this year. So, what's the Bretton Woods system, and how does it relate to us? Bretton Woods was an international monetary system that was established in 1944, in which the U.S. dollar was packed to the price of gold. By 1973, the Bretton Woods system had collapsed. Countries were then free to choose any exchange arrangement for their currency, except packing their values to the price of gold. And one of the most important legacies that the system left was the establishment of International Monetary Fund and the World Bank. During the past 80 years, the status of US dollar and the structure of the global currency system has been changed. So, the new moment is coming. Today, we face a new Bretton Woods moment. We must seize this new Bretton Woods moment. How? And that is a big reason global guests have come to Hangzhou this week to discuss this important question. How can we rebuild the international monetary system? To find some answers, I attended some of the panels at the forum. And what has developed is the toolbox of the ECB has become much more robust with a view to different shocks by developing new tools. And obviously for the central bank to be independent and not to have addressed solvency problems you need a backstop. All I just want to say, because I would like to make some reference to China, in early 90s, it was Europe who paid a very high price for sticking to impossible trinity dilemma, and there was a threat that it will be a vicious circus of competitive devaluations, but fortunately, China stood up to its role. China was the only country not to devalue the yuan. I talked to economists. Are nice you the to first meet one? you. Yeah, I'm the first one. Okay, <laughs> Please. Hello. I would hope that we have a joint effort and that we don't have uh, the global economy falling into two parts where you know one is competing with the other and is also making the global economy less effective. So we are in and on the same boat due to globalization. And therefore, you know, uh, given this, uh, new world, we have to establish a new governance, a new economic and political governance at the world level. You're right. Uh, 80 years ago, when all this began, only a small number of countries got together. And out of that, an even smaller number of countries took up global leadership in the world these countries have found global leadership to be costly. At the same time, they are fearful of giving up that leadership. Mm -hmm. So we are in a paradox. That paradox needs to be resolved. In 1944, 44 global representatives, mainly from the Western countries, made the decision to build a new international monetary system in the Bretton Woods, New Hampshire in the US with the backdrop of stunning natural scenery. And here, now, at the one of the most famous and beautiful attractions in China, the Westlake in Hangzhou, we can see more countries, including developing countries, Asia countries, joining the discussion on the global issues related to all with the new economic order. And we can expect more for the new era and a new world.